In this video, we're going to have a look at understanding overridden physical properties within our eye properties in Inventor. So what am I on about? Well, if we quickly look at this component over here, we look at its eye properties. If we look at its physical tab, you'll see little calculators next to mass and volume. And those mean that these have been calculated by Inventor. If I have a look at the top level assembly, and I go into its eye properties and click on the physical tab, you'll see that there's a little calculator and a hand. And that's telling me that something in the assembly has been overridden. The little hand tells me that it's been edited. So how do I find the overridden component? I don't want to have to go into every single part to look for it. It's rather tricky to do this. No hard and fast way to do this. But the quickest and easiest way is probably just to have a look at a bill of materials. Here I can see a list of all of the mass and volume for all of my components. And if I look at this part over here, it's got very round numbers, really specific, which is probably meaning that those are the ones that have been overridden. So if I open this part up and I go look at its eye properties and click on the physical tab, I can see that these are the overridden dimensions or the overridden properties. So all I need to do is highlight them and delete them, hit apply, and that'll update them with the correct mass and volume. If I save this component, go back to the top level, and have a look at the eye properties on the physical tab. Now, once I hit update, everything is back to being calculated and those overridden properties are now gone. If I look back at the mass and the volume, you'll see that those are no longer sort of rounded numbers. They seem to be calculated. And I've now got a healthy, properly calculated assembly. Hope that's useful.